There's a lot there. There's a lot there. Okay, morning folks. Okay, here we are. Kind of, um, it's very fresh this morning here in London. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, Saturday, a uh, couple more days to go, one more day to go before we're back out there. Um, still not sure exactly what we're going to do on Monday. <laughs> I know it's crazy, but um, uh, it's, it, is, it is a question of travel. That's what it's all about, is travel. So um, we just want to be 100% sure on that. Julie, maybe you can check on that today, uh, see if there's any updates on that. Um, but, uh, but like I say, we're going to use our, our, our business as the model for us traveling as... Uh I thought it was cats. Um, as, as a broadcaster. Anyway, um, so uh, oh, we'll get on to the hobby zone. Uh, too sweet, I think, folks, because two o'clock we're going to break off. Then we're going to come back at six o'clock tonight for the uh, for the quiz. Uh, we've got to set all of that up. And um, uh, so I think the best thing to do, uh, we've, we've got the camera out here. Uh, the best thing we can do is uh, just jump straight in uh, to the studio and, uh, and get on with that. A little bit hobby zone and I can play out finally uh, I was up till 11 30 last night figuring out what was wrong with that file we finally figured it out so uh, Jilly do you want to go to um, uh, two in the warm I don't know if they can feel the warm in there because I can tell you what it's it's cold out there it's proper cold out there how are we doing um, okay so yes uh, I reckon I might be able to uh, play this out, actually. Let me see if I can bring it in here. Uh, and then, uh, have you got, have you got, you've just got me in, uh, on the main screen at the moment, Jilly, yeah? Okay, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go media source, and then I'm going to browse it. I'm going to go to, should be in here, should be sim files, sim files promo. Okay, let's just... Okay, hold on a minute. Let me just see if that works. Oh, whoa, okay, okay, okay. Right, uh, have you got audio on it, Chili? Um, I've got no audio at this end, but let me just uh, check if I've got which one... Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, let me go to advanced properties on that. And um, which one's media source? Uh, monitor off, monitor and output. Set that. Okay, there we go. Um, so, have you got OBS running, Jilly? Okay, so I'm going to play this now. So, so you full screen on OBS, yeah? Yeah.
was that? Uh, brilliant, okay. Looks like it's gone down well. Okay, I uh, hope you all enjoyed that. We can, uh, I can delete that media source now because uh, that's all gone on to, well, it's gone on LinkedIn anyway. We'll put it up on, uh, on YouTube. So in terms of the SIM files, uh, we, what I want to do is obviously keep the momentum there, uh, invite as many of uh, new, uh, young or old or whatever uh, sim pilots uh, who are out there um, just to, to come in and enjoy the, the experience but also obviously uh, what's really important is that we get we get uh, managed to keep the files as, as, as short as possible you know but within reason you know if it's a, if it is a um, like we had one with the QRA where it's a, um, a, 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 a an intercept you know or a, an intercept or a dog fight or or a, or a particular uh, scenario or a short flight from like we had the other day from uh, London to uh, uh, from, from Gatwick to Heathrow uh, stuff like that but we're looking for other stuff like cat free landings um, some really dodgy stuff um, uh, uh, we've got a nice nighttime piece with the Boax 747 as well we've got to play out on that one so there's a lot of stuff still there keep your stuff in your files if you if you've if you if you've got stuff to send us but work on some stuff and we'll try and put some sort of like um, um uh maybe we'll get the audience involved in it our viewers uh to 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 to, to put the challenge out there uh for uh, for whatever challenge we put on the show but anyway there we there we go uh here we go yes okay so uh, let's go to the hobby zone, shall we? Uh, Jilly, do you want to go to OBS and um, put me in pip? Okay, just tell me when we're in. Yep. Oz Flight Sim Expo. Hey, Jilly, look at that. Oz Flight Sim Expo. He's a three striper. Welcome, mate. Uh, are you in Oz or? Okay, but there we go. Oz Flight Sim Expo. We'll have to look that up. Um, that's obviously an expo, isn't it? <laughs> uh, let me just quickly do this. Bring that over there. Ozflim, oh, Ozflim, yeah, Ozflight Sim Expo. There's their Facebook page. They're on Twitter. Oh, fantastic. Okay, we'll have to look more into that. Uh, invite those guys in from uh, from from that would be really great to to uh, because Infinite Flight, which is the one that the app that I use with my uh, with my gear down on that 737, um, which is just a fantastic uh, flight sim. For, uh, for for phones, for iOS and Android. Um, but um, they also have a massive community as well. Uh, and the, the guys work really hard behind the scenes at uh, Infinite Flight to bring uh, sort of like a monthly um, uh, package that everyone gets together and, and carries it out, you know, an operation or whatever it might be. Um, and that's kind of what we're doing here as well, is to sort of like hand out a challenge to our, to our sim pilots. But, uh, so that's good. Welcome, my friend. Uh, good to see you here. Uh, let's just have a look here. Uh, incoming, great video. That hope you got my new sim file yesterday, Ian. Um, let's just, it did come in. Yeah, I've got nothing in my, um, let me just have a look here. Okay, let me just have a look here. Oh, no, I've, I haven't got one here. Okay, so you say that came on email, did it? Make my sim. <laughs> oh, here we go. I've got the Fly MP guy and I've got Dirt Wing incoming. Uh, bust Day and Frankfurt. Okay, okay, okay. That's why I haven't got that here. Right, let me just... Media fire. What do I do here? How do I get it? Right. Okay. Okay. Download. Click the button to download and get started. All right. All right. I think that's blatantly obvious, isn't it? 
<laughs> with a big download thing there. Ian, thank you. Uh, driver update setup. Oh man, I've got to, I've got to, have I got to up, driver update. Hmm. No, 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 I'm not going to install stuff on here. Um, Ian, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark that as unread. We're gonna try and get hold of it, but if there's some, any other way that you can get it across to us, that would be great. How did he send the other one then? Um, but anyway, okay. At the moment, uh, no Sims this week. We've got the quiz tonight, folks, uh, and then of course tomorrow. Uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. Maybe um, because the Sim Files is is something that we want to do on a. Um, we're probably going to end up doing it on a, on a two weekly basis, so twice a month we're going to do it, uh, so we don't clutter up everything. And not only that, but we're just going to be busy. I'm going to be travelling, uh, so uh, and 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 we would prefer to do these sim nights on a Saturday night, I think. Um, and as t as far as quizzes go, that's something that we're going to have to see how it goes because obviously um, I'd rather sooner be out there. Um, filming um, with you guys and planning, which is what I'm doing here, um, rather than having to create stuff and, and, and overwhelm us with work, if you see what I mean, because it is very busy behind the scenes. But anyway, um, let's just go to the, okay, you've got, um, you've got full screen there, Jilly. Let me just, um, why can't I just have that as a, as, a, as a complete screen? Let me just have a look and see. No, I can't, can I? Okay, oh well, whatever. Okay, okay, so here we go, folks. Uh, am I in the pip, yeah, Jilly? I'm in the pip, yeah? Okay, so there's no audio coming out of it anyway, so 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 that's all good. Right, okay, so here we go, folks. The Hobby Zone. Um, and uh, off we go. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, come on now. Oh, bloody wires. Uh, Anthony John and got a new arrival today from ARD Aviation Retail, Retail Direct with this 1970-1990 aircraft that is no longer active after it was destroyed in a crash in 1999 in Argentina. The Britannia 737-204C looks great next to the larger 760-7200, both 1200 scale. I've got to quickly show you something, ladies and gentlemen. That has reminded me... Uh, let me see where my hobbies are. I've got to show you this picture. Oh yes, it is it. Okay, let me just do this quick. I just want to show you this folks, because this is uh, image. Let's just have a look. Bear with me, bear with me. It's in... Uh, have I got hobbies up there? Okay, it's in. Here, and here it is here. Right, have a look at that. Now, when we talk about aircraft scale, yeah? Have a look at that. Isn't that amazing? Pan Am 747 next to a 707 which is just remarkable because you think of the 707 as a big jet. You've seen, you know, the Beatles coming off the 707 when they, when they arrived in New York. You know, it's like, a, it's, a, it's a big jet, isn't it? When they're walking down the steps and you see the enormity of it. And then you look at the 747 next to it. What a crazy, crazy scale, um, uh, um, differential there. I'm glad I uh, managed to show you that. Anyway, here we go. Hobby zone. Bosh. Yeah, I can't be bribed to buy mini rolls, folks. Um, and uh, I think also we've got to make sure uh, Matt McLaughlin's not watching, Jilly. <laughs> or is he just going to sit there and watch it uh, and not get involved? Um, uh, he'll probably do the right thing, I'd say. Anthony John Allen, thank you for these. Um, wow, yeah, Britannia Airways 737-200. Nice. Wow. 
Nice. Wow. Proper old, the old livery as well before they moved to that 767 there. Yeah, nice collection there. Oh, look, there's his engine down there. Yeah, very nice. I like the uh, chrome underside, very American style. Wow, that's proper old school. Thanks for that, mate. Uh, give that a wow. Give that a Kylie Minogue. Hello. Martin adds head. Another blast from the past from Birmingham, taken on eight, in 87. The airline was launched on May 30th, 87, with one aircraft. Highland Express, this short-lived airline, flew three flights a week from Birmingham and three flights a week from Stansted to Newark via Prestwick. The last day of the week, it went to Brussels for maintenance by Sabina. When the airline folded, it went to Virgin Atlantic as MIA. Wow. No way. Highland Express, and that's a, that's a 100 as well, isn't it? Look at that. What a great picture. Wow, all on its own, some there, look. Wow, look at that. Is that an Orion tail there? So that's going out of the... Uh, so this is, uh, that's the taxiway out of the southern runway, isn't it, I think? I think so. Old days, though, old school. Wow. Beautiful. Fantastic. Great story attached to that as well. Thank you for that, Martin. Uh, wow. Uh, Dean Rolfe saw it at Gatwick in 87, pushing back from satellite. Not sure uh, if it was doing a flight for a great livery, though. Yeah. Wow. So that's just a... Possibly a, like an entrepreneur who started that airline, you know, uh, with backing from someone. And it just because obviously the Virgins and the, and the um, um, uh, Sky, Laker Sky Train and all that lot came along, you know, with their cheap stuff. So uh, it got very competitive. So and of course, if he's doing a Newark track, that's uh, that would have been taken up by probably I'd imagine that uh, I would imagine that Laker were flying there. You'll never fly alone, Ron G. Jager. Wow, look at that. Nice, nice. High altitude. A6 EVD Emirates 38842 London Heathrow. February, uh, September 2020. Daniel Dawson. Great picture there, mate. On approach, on approach. Wow. Peregrine found some more F16 and F15 action from Lake and Heath. Wow, he does take a good picture, doesn't he? Wow. He does take a good shot, the old boy, doesn't he? Wow, look at that. Do what? Okay. Um, why can't I just make this full... I can't make it full screen, can I? That's the trouble. Um... Hold on a minute. Let me just. Okay. Okay. Now, I'll, now, 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 now. I'm just going to move. I'm just going to move. Hold on a minute. Let me just move this across until it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but that makes it worse, doesn't it? So now I have to resize it again. Now I have to resize it again. Uh... Oh. Okay. Um... No. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep resizing it. Yeah, but now I'm going to have to resize it again, you know. Wow, some great pictures there, man. Great pictures there. Yeah, nice. Nice. Beautiful pictures there. Right, now what happens when I do this? Okay, that's all right. So Peregrine, some great pictures there from Peregrine once again. Great military stuff. Uh, David Raymond, when I was a teenager, I used to travel from Birmingham via... Oh, okay, that's a comment. Wow, lots of comments on there. That's really good, getting involved. Fairchild... Uh, Metro liner, uh, Juliet Mike getting ready for the off. Nice picture, like that. That's a great generic picture, Dave. Um, I really like that kind of image of the aircraft being worked on. That's stuff we don't often see, so I think that's I think that's deserved of a Kylie Minogue. Wow, 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 wow. So uh, David at Birmingham. Wow, it's great shot. Western Global, Jordan Weir, Western Global, uh, McDonnell Douglas, MD-11. Yeah, that, that's, wow, look at that. Nice, MD-11. That 
it's always great having a tripod in it. He's holding it well there though, man, because that is that zoomed. That's zoomed, isn't it? Nicely done, nicely done. Fantastic shot, mate. Fantastic shot. So, wow. Uh, yeah, it was, it was. Nice. Virgin. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Great shot there. Oh, that's a beauty. Nice. No, Chili, check it out. Look at that, man. Wow, yeah. Great pictures. Look at these. Wow, that's fantastic. And that's from Ron, Ron de Jager. Where's Ron de Jager? Where's that? Is he in Holland or something? Philip Thorley catching the Maylef arrow. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, X Virgin Atlantic still flying. Well done, man. Great shot. Great catch. Oh, the homemade control tower revamp. Uh, redesigned cab at the top. And I took Jerry's advice and added more, added people in the cab. Ha 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 Oh, he's done well there, hasn't he? Jerry, look at that. That is fantastic, man. Look at the air, look at the, 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 the pot noodle cups as well. Absolutely fantastic, man. Absolutely brilliant, man. I love that. I love that. Yes, brilliant. With the, with the lights and all that as well. That deserves a round of a, a wow wow. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> the, the lengths people will go to. <laughs> now what you need to do, mate. Uh, forgive me for saying this, um, but this is my next challenge to you, Ray, is to get a little speaker, like a Bluetooth, yeah, um, and download, yeah, there's lots of download of uh, air traffic control on, um, on YouTube, um, and just record it on your phone. Um, I know it's a bit naughty and all that, but it's only for this, it's only for you. Um, uh, and then, um, and then play it on the Bluetooth in there in a little speaker or something like that and, uh, or with it so that that would make it very, very authentic. Kind of looks like it's going off in there. It's a bit of a rave going on in there, <laughs> but you know, it's a control tower. That's absolutely fantastic. It's a, <laughs> the greatest, the greatest nightclub in the world, isn't it? Look, the best nightclub in the world. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Not right now, but, uh, oh, hello, Ben Hewitt. Oh, here we are, Ben, a couple of years back, I was fortunate enough to be able to fly in the new A400M in the jump seat and captured the landing back in Bry's. Enjoy. Wait a minute. Oh, no, wait a minute. We've got, we got to come right the way back here and make sure we've got a full screen here. Um, how do I get this full screen? Here we go, here we go. Nice. Now, is that too big? I think that's too big. I need to resize. Oh, I see I've got to resize it. Okay, stand by. I mean, these days, you know. Here we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Here we go. Head up this place. Head up the
Nice. That was awesome, Ben. Thank you. Uh, okay, so now all I need to do really is do that, isn't it? Uh, I think. Is that right? Uh, hey. Thanks, mate. Um, ben, that was amazing. And look at that. Oh, there's the A400, Ross Watts. I took this photo yesterday by my work at A uh, It's the Airbus A400M, yes. Uh, with those big, beautiful blades on her. Great shot there, great shot. Uh, Neil Hughes, 4T, 1 400th scale BA 100 retro jets collection. The three queens of the skies are Gemini jets. Thanks to Russell Epstein, whilst the 319 is Aero Classics diecast. Wow, yes, nice. Uh, just move that up there like that. Nice collection, mate. Very nice. Give a love up for the old queen. Not that I love you, Neil. <laughs> a couple of panoramic pics I took back in 88 at Gatwick. Spantac 737. <gasps> they used to run their Coronados in there as well. And a World Airways a Canada DC-8. Wow. Uh, look at the Virgin 200. Is that the 200? Wow. Spantax. And there's another. Uh, yeah, is that the water? Hold on a minute. Let me just have a look here. Yeah, is that, that's another uh, Virgin 7.4 over there, I think. Is that, a, is that the Spantax through there? No, this is Spantax 7.37 here, isn't it? Wow, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Duh. It's just that I'm used to seeing the Coronado in there as well. But that is that, the, is that Ward Air, did he say? I don't know. Um, World Airways Canada DCA. Oh, here we go, it's the one below. Oh, wow, now that's a picture. <gasps> Look at that. DC-10 in the background. Oh, man. Wow, Sabina 747. That's um, Orion, is that Orion? No, 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 World Airways, is it? World Airways, isn't it? He probably says it here, doesn't it? Uh, okay, we expand that same for you. World Airways Canada DC. And that's the World Airways there. But I think that's either, is that Orion or, wow, look at that beautiful, it's a 71, I think. What a beautiful aircraft, man. So being a 747, great pictures. Oh, I just want to see video from those days. That's what I want to see. Did anyone take old grainy videos? Here's an old grainy picture. The only time I photographed the, a landing on the crosswind runway at Heathrow. Oh, we were talking about this this morning. Look at this. And it's a 747 SP. Pan Am SP. Iberia. Look look at this Iberia. Is that, a, is that Wow. Is that an Airbus there? That, Air, that A300 or something. But look at that. Now that's the runway that ran uh, diagonally across and intersected both runways, really. Wow. It was continental, that was it. Thank you, my friend, sorry, Jeff, it was continental. That was it. Yeah, but it's a, an SP as well, look at that. What a catch, what a great day to be there for that one, Dean. Oh, look at that beautiful Tony Gardner. A quick, quick follow-up to my last Spitfire post. One extra picture I found from 2015 at Riyadh. The special livery Eurovision Typhoon and the BBMF Spitfire, which would have been flown by Parky, who we saw the other day in the uh, headcorn piece. I think it was absolutely did a great um, did a great piece. Think how much that uh, that aircraft has to be pulled back uh, to keep up with that Spitfire. Oh, what a beautiful picture, man! What an absolute cracker man oh man wow that is a proper proper wow isn't it oh my goodness me peregrine's also got <gasps> look at that wow he's got his slats uh extended i guess to slow him down Wow, wow, what a fantastic, wow, what a fantastic picture. Um, how do I do that? How, oh, I don't know, hold on a minute, how do I? Uh, there, down there, in it? Oh, what's that, Jilly? Would I have got it? Would I have got it? Hold on.
Okay, so radar, radar people, radar, come on, let's get radar open and uh, make sure that we've... Uh, okay. Okay, nothing on there at the moment. Right, okay. Yeah, amazing, Peregrine. Ray Rosen, there he is again. We've done that one, Ray. Uh, Mikey Vander Aaron, good to see you here. Double heavyweights, yeah. He takes a good picture, does old Mikey VDA. Look at that. Uh, got to resize it. I'm like, oh, why can't I make this any bigger, really? Uh, I can just do that, can't I? Can I do that? No. Can I do that? Yeah, there we go. Wow. Great shots, Mikey. China Southern. Looking at the background there, I think that's Polder Barn. I think these are these are both Polder Barn. But I think that one's going out in the opposite direction. Or no, I think they're both going out on the same di yeah same direction. Wow, fantastic oh, heavyweights. Wow, we've got to get them back, man. We've got to get them back to Schiphol. Beautiful pictures, Mikey. Good to see you here, mate. Uh, Kyle Marshall, lucky enough to attend Flight Sergeant Johnny Johnson's last surviving Dan Buster evening at Manchester Airport under the wings of Concord, where he talked about his time in the RAF and Dan. Wow, it was a hell of a night and a massive eye opener. This is one of the most prized position, uh, possessions I own, assigned Lancaster, that I got the man himself to sign and feel proud. Wow, <gasps> you lucky man. Wow, you lucky man. That is incredible. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, what an honour. What an absolute honour. Kyle, you're very, very lucky, man. Very lucky. Uh, Darren Moston, High Fly, 330-900 at Manchester on Friday. She's been doing the rounds, that one, hasn't it? That, uh, that 330. Mike... Uh, Mike Sharpie Sharp, London Heathrow, 5th of May or, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, 5th of March or, yeah, that'll be, yeah, that'll be this year, won't it? That'll be, uh, sorry, last year, won't it? Uh, the, the, hold on, no, uh, I don't know. <laughs> As your air, uh, 767, we've seen that. Oh, yeah, look at this, yeah, no, definitely. The 777's seven, all. See that Virgin Atlantic uh, maintenance trolley there. Uh, I know the guys that make these folks, um, these step, these these access uh, steps, and you know, you use that wheel it up over here, get up on top of it, and uh, and uh, refill the engine oil and stuff like that. Uh, just top the engines up with oil and stuff like that. But they're great pictures, man. Well, I don't know where to do saddle, saddle. Ah, oh, just do well, whatever. <laughs> Mark Jones dusted and polished yet. We got that the other day. Uh, my new BA Empire, blooming it. World of aviation lives here. Wow, that's crazy. Wow, he's got the lot there, hasn't he? I mean, stuffed them in there as well. Fair play. They're proper parked up. Long-term storage by the looks of it. Um, great stuff. Uh, Louis Shields, 767, 300 fleet, including two 767, 300, LAN and BA. Nice. Nice. I'm guessing they're die casts, yeah? Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, nice. Wow. 
Ray Rosen, my wall-mounted runway I made looks great at night. Yeah, we've seen this, haven't we, in your man cave. It is good, isn't it? Look at the sticker there at the bottom there. Oh, he's gone massively over the top on that, but that's brilliant, mate. No, fantastic. Love that. I love that. Can you switch, can you switch the plane out? Like, you know, do you have an option to switch the plane out on the stand every now and then? But that's great. That is just a brilliant thing to do, isn't it? Um... And probably quite easy to maintain in terms of dust or, you know, um, that sort of thing. But, yeah, I like that. I like that. The, uh, yeah. Oh, hello, Ron Clark. Busy with my F4 build 148 scale. <gasps> so that's a big one. Yes. Yes, 148th. Yeah. Okay, separate components and all that sort of stuff. Uh, flaps can be... Did you cut those flaps out or did you um, and reposition them or were they uh, were they already like that? Like that, mate. Like that. I like that. So that's a that's a great model to build, isn't it? Tony Gardner seeing us today is the 85th anniversary uh, yesterday of the first flight of the iconic Spitfire. I thought I'd post a selection of photos that I've taken over the years, mostly at Duxford's Flying Legends Air Show with a few from Shuttleworth and sneaky Vulcan shot in there as well from its final display. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Um, oh, it just doesn't. Okay. That, that is cropped anyway. It's just a heat haze. Look at the heat haze, man. Oh, lovely. Wow. What a great picture. Oh, man. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. These cameras are just so good these days. Just the, Digital is just incredible, isn't it? Look at that. The colours are just fantastic. Wow. How did he do that? <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Smart. Look at that. So that's a clip wing. That's a late, very late mark, isn't it, I think? Wow. Nice. Yeah, good picture. That's nice. I like that. I like that sort of like generic stuff. Oh, yeah. Real lifestyle. That's great, isn't it? Blimey. Wow. You know what that sounds like because we've had Mikey uh, doing, you doing that, haven't we? Absolutely fantastic, Tony. Brilliant shots. Cleaning out the carb, in it, Or the carbs. A few visits to Lake and, he Lake and Heath. A uh, few visitors into Lake and Heath. Adam Palmer. Wow. Got to get back there, man. Got to get back there. Oh, look at the F-35s. Is that the, is that the F-35? Wow, look at that, they are visitors, aren't they, look. That's not a, that's not a, um, an F-15, is it? That's like a, 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 is it the F-18 or? Oh, no, that's the, that's the American one, isn't it? That's not the F-35. Someone's going to tell me on here, aren't they? Still not massively up on my military stuff. I mean, I mean, I know that the F-35 is a very similar. F-22 Raptors, there we go, F-22s. Got to get that one in my head. Uh, reposition the flaps, Ron Clark saying. Fantastic. These pictures are exceptional. They are. Um, Liz, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, fair play, people on his own. The stuff people put up is great. Indeed, it is. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Wow, look at that. The F-22 Raptor. Sort of a clumsy-looking aircraft with its undercarriage down as well. And I've always thought this this isn't very you know, streamlined. It's quite, quite a bent shape to it, but it's just a phenomenal aircraft, isn't it? Oh, look at that. That's, that's definitely F-16, isn't it? Wow. So, uh, F-18s, I was right. I said a for F-18, didn't I? Thank you very much indeed, Adam. 
amazing pictures. Raptor and F-18. Oh, hello. Michelle Clark, everyone updated my airline decal collection and attached some to my display cabinet with an extra photo while I was at it. Some of my planes and knick-knack collectibles had to add Southwest Virgin American BA and Egypt Air as these didn't come in the original 54-piece collection. Wow, that's a display cabinet, isn't it? Hey, she's got an engine as well, look. Wow. That is a display cabinet. Got the ship down there. Got all the stickers down there. Look at that. Instrument over there. Oh, say that again. Uh, what in there? Oh, right, okay. That was the, that was the one I wanted to see. So it's obviously a, um, wow, now that looks like a fighter party. That could look, she's got the Mustang up there, got an instrument there. Um, I don't know what, what instrument it is. There's an instrument down there. Love all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and that is definitely US Air Force, isn't it? I'm not sure what that is. Uh, got Corsair there. Uh, got some lovely stuff in that cabinet. I'd stand there for about 10, 15 minutes if that was in a museum going, oh, wow, look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, that's, oh, wow, look at that. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> so I love display cabinets like that. It's a proper display cabinet. Brilliantly done. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, Michael. Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> uh, Colin Ford, selection three is of vintage classics taking Jerry's advice and added captions okay hurricane defo gear uh, is that gear coming up I'm guessing wow look at that beautiful yes nice see it doesn't have the clip wing on it which makes it an earlier variant as well as that one as well wow so many different variants of the Merlin engine as well love those colors that's uh, a desert um, that's a desert. I think that's from one of the, um, the later on in the war. They, oh, that's definitely um, reconnaissance, isn't it? I think that was reconnaissance. The uh, the blue, beautiful, beautiful pictures. Nice, Colin. Thank you for that. Here he is again, Ray. Ray with his man cave. Plane spotted from my driveway, 13,000 feet below Air Canada, 7879, uh, AC7233 in the uh, Raccoon livery, heading into Hartsfield, Jackson, Atlanta, the goal at, at Golden Hour, Lance Deaton. Wow. It's lovely when you do that, isn't it? When you, when, you, when you get the two up on the screen at the same time. That's what a lot of people love doing here as well, you know, in terms of like the stuff that we film and they're watching it live on radar as well. Uh, Airwick Miller, flights landing at Miami in early 2020. Oh, TAP, look at that, Swiss. Let's just go a bit bigger on these, shall we? Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, TAP339, look, that's the Neo, folks. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Avianca, 330, wow. Oh, Air Italy, yeah. Saw them at uh, Milan, wasn't it? Uh, Milan Malpensa as well, and LAX, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah. 3.30 crowd. Nice, Alitalia. Saw that at Boston. Saw that at Boston as well. Great pictures, mate. Great pictures. Is that Airwick Miller? It's obviously not his real first name. I don't, oh, I don't know, maybe it is. Uh, Virgin Atlantic, Barbarella and Waldo 747, Virgin Atlantic, Miss England. Wow. LHR 2018. Wow. Oh, give it a little bit of a sad face, just because uh, they've gone. All right there, give it a little rub. All right, so. Oh. Hello, Scott Tarpley. Steady, steady progress, but it's starting to take shape now. We'll be working on painting it next. Wings aren't glued. It's taking as long as I did on my jumbo, is he? But that's brilliant, man. Okay, nicely done, mate. Nicely done. 
Did you hand paint that with a brush? My goodness me if you did. Look at the clothes pegs on the tail there. <laughs> brilliant. And, and on the engine and all, yeah, brilliant, man. I thought it was his kneecap for a minute. I thought, blimey. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Kays, where's me pegs? Brilliant, man, brilliant. I've got to give you a laughing one on that one, mate. No, I'm not going to give you a laugh one. I'm going to give you a wow one because it, I'm just going to give you a laughing one for the t for the clothes pegs. But uh, but yeah, very brilliant. Love the colour of the clothes peg, peg, uh, pegs. Uh, Henry the Ape saying Emma Funnel, uh, loving it as well. Uh, Mark Harris, wow. When a Virgin Dreamline took the track out of LHR that I was waiting for, no way. Now that's one to catch. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Look at that, man. That's crazy. I know I say every time I say this, and I don't know if, um, I don't know if Carl the astronomer would back me up on this, but apparently if you stripped the land, uh, the, 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 if you stripped everything, all the sea and everything off of the, off of the earth, the, um, the earth would be pitted like that with, uh, with craters. Um, and is, sorry, p pitted like that with craters, but we just don't see it because of all the landmass. Um, but yeah, what an amazing, amazing shot. And the sea, sorry, the sea. Oh, look at this plane I took from Heathrow to LAX in summer 92. Wow, some 747s in. So let's just have a look here. Wow, United. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the... Uh... That's the one that the guy had the badge for and he didn't know what it was, didn't he? Was it, was it Malaysian or something? Or China Eastern? Yeah, no, that's China Eastern, yeah. And what's that there? Hmm, looks TWA-ish. Yeah, yeah, definitely looks TWA, but uh, I love looking up things like that. Uh, Kaneko Ishii is in the house. Where's that? What? Oh, Malaysia 747, Air Mauritius 747 SP. Wow. There's someone who knows his planes. Air Mauritius 7. It is. It is, a, it is an SP as well. Look at it. Wow. Let's give him a uh, fill. Malaysian 747, Air Mauritius. Thank you very much indeed. Seeing that the other day, seeing the sketches the other day, uh, seeing those amazing pictures the other day as well. Um, Peregrine with his F. Uh, after watching the Lego play out yesterday, here are some photos I well, I took whilst the Aviano F-16s were at base. If you get a chance, Joey, more Lake and Heath action, please. Uh, it will just fill the gap until I can get out down to the local bases in Suffolk. Absolutely, mate. You know me. I uh, I love my military stuff, and um, as as much as I love the um, the uh, the passenger stuff and the freighter stuff, I just love aviation. <laughs> Anything. Just look at that. Look at the detail on that, man. Isn't that just fantastic? Oh yeah. It's inbound, isn't it? Yeah, there's the road. Yeah, it's inbound. Wow. You can just hear them, can't you? You can just hear them. Nice. Wow, she's loaded up. Drop tank. Is that drop tank? Fuel tank. Wow. Nice head-on shot. Like that. Nice. What was that I just saw? Got a picture of an... Air Mauritius SP at London Gap, Gatwick after it was diverted due to fog in uh, LHR in 89, uh, Dean saying. Wow. Oh, we saw those, didn't we? What's this here? Lance Deaton throwing it back to the mid 80s at the old commemorative Air Force air shows in my hometown of Harling, Harlingen, Texas. 
It was an incredible flight line with the best of American fighter power out there. F4, S, C, R, F and D model. Phantoms, Eagles, Tomcats, Hornets, Intruders, Falcons, Galaxy, C-130, B-1. Uh, wow, combat helicopters, you name it. And of course, the old World War II power as well. Wow. Oh, yeah, these are, this is really throwing it back. Look at those Phantoms, man. Oh. So much on display there. So the, the Tomcats, wasn't it, as well? Wow, proper old school. Love that, mate. Love that. Absolutely brilliant. Lucky you. Keep those memories, don't you? Dean Rolf. 16 more from Heathrow, 1987. Wow, look at that. Nigeria Airways. Is that a 300 or a 310? It is a 310, right, okay. I love looking at what's in the background as well. TriStar Jumbos. Wow, Nigeria Airways. Nice, Iberia DC-10. <sighs> Illusion IL-62, I think, isn't that? Wow, look at the Ethiopian 767, lovely. Trident. I heard a story this morning, folks, of a Trident, um, a, an aircraft that crashed at Heathrow, and someone's going to come up on it. I spoke to somebody this morning, folks. He's been he's been plane spotting for since 1955. Now that is uh, dedication. Um, uh, and it, we, we we were discussing incidents at Heathrow. Oh, hold on a minute. a cat in it um, right <laughs> yes so uh, anyway um, yes yeah, spoke to this 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 chap very interesting chap so interesting so much so that I'm actually considering interviewing him um, because of he's been there throughout all the eras you know <coughs> late 50s the 60s the 70s the 80s the 90s and the 2000s just 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 through all those I made Starting off with vanguards, constellations, um, you know, viscounts, that kind of stuff. Uh, but he spoke of one uh, very interesting incident that happened. An aircraft came into land, I think it was on 2-3 at Heathrow, uh, misjudged it, crashed. Aircraft, uh, uh, which was full of horses apparently, uh, so I hear, um, uh, slewed off down towards the, um, towards the gates and... Uh, took the tail off of a trident and collided with another trident and damaged it. Um, and the, air, the trident that damaged, that, 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 that got damaged, um, that obviously the other one was written off, but the trident that got damaged, um, that was the trident that crashed in stains. Uh, how long after that, I don't know, but they obviously repaired it. It went into extensive repair, uh, just like this trident that you're seeing here. Um, Wow, look at that beautiful Olympic 737. We used to love their livery, man. Nice. Is that a Fokker? I think, or is, it a, is that a Fokker or is that a DC-9? I'll have a look back in the... Nice. Wow. Old Aeroflot Illusion IL-76. <laughs> Just making it up. Look at that. Now... That is just incredible to see those jets there, isn't it? Wow, love that, man. Love that. Nice. Manx. Caravel. Wow, look at that. What is that? Just air charter. So that's a charter jet. Sabina 310. Wow, beautiful. Zambia Airways DC-10s. I remember these, man. 
British Midland Viscount. Look at that. And was that the Fokker there or the um, the, the, the DC-9? Air Lingus. Look at the old Air Lingus livery. Hey, hey. I wonder where old... Um, that's interesting. Look, you immediately think uh, EasyJet, don't you, when you see that? I wonder if that's a leased aircraft. He's leased that off someone. They've leased that off someone. Because I think they were always green, weren't they? Cyprus Airways, look at that. Ghana Airways, these, I mean, this, is, this guy would have lived through all of this and seen all of this. Amazing pictures there. Uh, TU-154s, that's what they were, I think. Um, wow. Thank you. We'll post some more uh, of Gatwick's tomorrow. So um, that's Gatwick. Wow, that's Gatwick, man. That's insane, and that's out on that. That's out on that finger that you used to be able to walk out onto, and just oh, there was a shop there and everything. Oh my goodness me, the memories of that. Uh, Mario uh, Schmidt Schmidt interception exercise at Zurich Airport on Tuesday. <gasps> interception exercises at Zurich. Wow. Oh, you lucky thing to see that. Okay, we saw that with Mel's husband's workshop. Okay, Alex Collins. I have th been 3D printing for the past 10 years or so. Started my 3D creation. A f printed creation, a flying aircraft. Okay, I've been 3D printing for the past 10 years or so. Started on my next 3D printed creation, a flying egg. Ah! Oh! Wow, that's going to be a pretty big aircraft if that's one of the components. Look at this. That's insane. Oh, you've got to keep us posted on that, man, when you're... Uh, uh, Alex, definitely keep us posted on that as it uh, progresses. That's a serious hobby. Okay, got two triple sevens lined up, folks. Uh, both going to JFK, one after the other, apparently. Let's just have a look at this. I love my 3D. I love my 3D. Oh. I'm not seeing it. Wow. Okay. Right, well, you're going to have to keep me posted on that, Julie, because I can't see it at all. Uh, Mark Crook, I've been very fortunate over the past few decades to be a volunteer at the Royal International Air Tattoo. Yeah, yeah, that's a great one to volunteer for. In my first 10 years, I worked in the hospitality chalets. Um, yeah, that's a little bit, oh, you want to be outside, all that noise going on and you're stuck in a chalet. Uh, with an amazing team and assisting the corporate chalet managers to prepare for the show. Ah, oh, preparing for the show, that's great. One year, the manager of the uh, Pilatus chalet was retiring and gave me this PC21 for the help over the years as a thank you. I don't think there is many of these models around, so I'm very lucky. Uh, it sits pride of place um, on the kitchen shelf. Wow, volunteering at RIA is like a drug. It gets you, uh, uh, it gets in your blood. I've now completed 17 years volunteering, making some great friends along the way. It has that much of an effect. Even my wife has started volunteering. Thanks for all the brilliant lockdown shows as it has helped with whilst working at home. Oh, mate, that's absolutely fantastic. What a beautiful model as well. Oh, the Pilatus, yeah. Look at that. It's good that it doesn't have a prop on it because it gives that impression of speed and it's it's just that's absolutely perfect isn't it wow love that lucky you what a great uh, what a great opportunity and and thanks for being there uh, mark uh, maybe i'll hook up with you one day uh, at riyadh and uh, and shake your hand 17 years at riyadh as a as a, so obviously I, i'd imagine that you get out during displays and all that a few pictures from the last year at sunny bournemouth on most days we had more, more traffic than heathrow which was quite good but uh, quite cool but not you know look at that man Bournemouth for storage wasn't it wow oh plane 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 oh no where are they Jerry? oh I heard something 
Okay, okay. Shall we, uh, shall we... Well, yeah. Okay. And they're American, did you say? Yes. Okay. Skilling's on the case. So, okay, you can go camera one mangerly if you want. Okay. okay, this could be good. I think the cloud's about 2,000 feet. Maybe even higher. What's she at now, Jilly? Altitude? Okay, so that cloud's 3,000 feet. And the next one's right behind him, is he? Come the uh, the kites on their daily routine.
back to uh, the way you were. <laughs> uh, hobby zone in the main, pip, uh, sorry, uh, uh, OBS in the main, me in the pip, yeah? Done? Okay. So that, yeah, BEA did spend a little bit of time at Bournemouth, but she came back to ser into service quite quickly, didn't she? Wow, look at that. Look at that. Still in her virgin livery. Still got her coat on, but uh, look at this that they did on the side of that. Good for them. That was down to the owner doing that. <gasps> look at that, man. Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness me. Um, I'm going to put a sad face in there, Jordan. Um, uh, Will, sorry. Just because, you know, it's a shame. Um, Gary O'Rourke, my wee boy Connor, has got his first model BA787 Dreamliner 1200 Snap Fit. Only $2.99 from Home Bargains. Hey, hey, he's well chuffed. Brilliant, man. Oh, got to be honest with you, man. I mean, uh, Russell sent me that um, that that uh, snap together uh, Concorde, didn't he? They're great, the little snap together. It's very well done. It's very simple, very easy to do. And then Bosch, uh, stick it on a shelf. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. I'll give him a thumbs up because he's a kid, isn't he? Nice one, Gary. Uh, and his uh, wee boy, uh, Connor, with his Dreamliner. Little pilot, little pilot, keep that picture, mate, because that could be a little later on when he's uh, when he's flying. Uh, Jet Airways A330 lining up on 23 left at Manchester back in November 2018 while Ian Wilson. So we might have seen that, Jilly, mightn't we? Jet Airways are um, uh, um, uh, rumoured to be coming back into operation, but only for uh, domestic flights within uh, India. None of the long haul stuff at this stage, uh, I, I don't think. Uh, Emily, hey, my new model for my birthday, which I got this morning, and well happy. Which one? Models or model? Uh, my new model, which one was the new one, uh, Emily? Because there's a lot of them there. Wow, look at that. That's a hell of a collection there you've got. Wow. Uh, Neil Warman, hey! Wow, look at that. Cool. Oh, look at that, man. Look at that. That's a, quite a cool stand there. It's got all the details on it. I like that. Garuda. Yeah, nice. Garuda 339, I think that is. Uh, Qatar 3... Uh, Qatar 777, sorry, 300, uh, with the raked tip. Just double check. You know, sometimes you have to... Sometimes you just have to double check, don't you, when you're... These are three, no, look at the winglets. No, it's got a rake wing tip, so that's definitely a triple seven. And I can just about, and I, uh, and also looked at the exhaust there just to see what the uh, see what the APU is doing there, and that's the split APU, uh, which we're familiar with with the triple seven, uh, 350 Virgin Atlantic. Got to have a Virgin 350 model, uh, UPS 747 8. Look at that wing. The, Oh, Jay Bones in the house. Jay Bone, how are you doing, my friend? Pachow, 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 pachow. Nothing, nothing, nothing coming out, is there? <laughs> has he? Oh, okay, cool, 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 okay. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Martin again, blast from the past, taken at Birmingham Airport in 86, Ward Air 747. Just a classic, isn't it? Just a classic. Yeah, we, we shot that the other day, actually, didn't we? We had that the other day. Nice one, matey. And we got that one as well. We got those ones as well. We got that lovely little thing as well. I love that. Love to fly that. Um, and that's uh, Mel Flyner, Radio Control, Neil Hughes. Uh, we got that as well, which is an amazing look at Berlin uh, Tempelhof. Um, and well, I think we're up to date. Have we have, have, have we got some more? Uh, wow, we scrolled down a long way. It's a lot of good stuff on there, man. Really is a lot of good stuff on there. Um, okay, so do I have to... Let me just... Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Okay, we've got that. We've got that. 
you see that. That's, uh, hold on a minute. Dean Rolf. Air Canada 707, or Canadian. Wow. Hispania 757, look at that, man. There's that Britannia 737 in the background, look. Uh, what is that 74 there? It looks like Cathay Pacific. Uh, Tristar, BA Tristar, Martin Air, look at that, man. Still going, very, very uh, linked up with KLM. Uh, Avianco. Aviarco, sorry, DC-9 there. Wow, Caledonian 737, Dan Air 727. In the, my uh, my stepmom uh, uh, flew uh, flew on the, uh, with Dan Air. I don't know, I think she just flew on the 727s. I don't know if she flew any, uh, any of the other ones, but um, there you go. Garuda, Indonesia, and um, hello to Will if he's watching. How are you doing, Will? Uh, looking forward to mo meeting up with you at some point. Garuda. International DC-10, nice. Look, all the pocket rockets in the background there, look. I don't know what that is, a BA-111 there. I don't know what 111 that is, but that's the that's the freight section, I think, over the other side, where my old man used to park his... Uh, yeah, they are Cafe Pacific, look. They are two Cafe Pacifics and a B BCAL jumbo jet. Wow, look at that, and Orion's A310. See the A three hundred had a had a had a winglet on it and a and, and one had a winglet on it and one didn't have a winglet on it and that's why I thought the ones without the winglet on it was the A three hundred but I'm probably completely wrong. Transavia, uh, look Dracula's on that one seven thirty seven NG, that's the next generation as well, isn't it? Wow, great pictures, mate. Great pictures. Love, I love reminiscing with stuff like that. I have to be honest with you. Um, and obviously everybody else does, does as well. Holly has put a picture up, uh, my first 1400 scale uh, die-cast model. Um, have, we got, have we got something coming out, Jilly? I've got it in a model store in Melbourne when I was on holiday in Australia back in 99. I was lucky enough to fly on board the real one. Wow. BA Dreamliner, yeah? Where's she at? Oh, she's done the seats. <coughs> She's, Holly's, Holly's unwrapped the seats, Jerry. Okay, camera one. Oh, look at that, look, 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 look. Yeah. He's gonna join him in a second, watch. There's a couple of love birds in there. Look, watch. Have they had an argument? You think they've had an argument? He's not talking to him, he's got his back turned to her, isn't he? They did try and do sexy time the other day and it didn't quite work. Here we go, look at this. This is a good one. Fluffed out that. Oh, you can fluff your feathers out. I'll fluff mine out. <laughs> Go on, get up together. You normally do. Oh, <laughs> puffing those feathers out. <laughs> Look at puffing the feathers out. Snuggle up next to each other. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
less. Right, okay, okay. So where are we at? We're at uh, 10 to 2. Uh, well, Winters. Okay, camera um, two, Jilly, uh, with uh, in Pip and Obs uh, on main. So Holly's uh, 7.47. Wow, yeah, on the seats. Nice. Oh, really? Give her a love, because she's a uh, jumbo. Got those from Andrew. Wow. Uh, incoming. Found a few photos. I took the final wing and wheels. Wings and wheels show at Dunsfold 2019. Many different aircraft, including some great displays. Two extras are father and son. Dad is in the full size and son is flying the RC model from the ground. Show finished with their reds in a flat display. Had a great day there. Hope you enjoy. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's the familiar... Um, Chinook display, biggest pair of hands you ever saw. Oh, look at that. Is that the, is that the Hellcat? Is that the Hellcat? Uh, oh man, yeah. The, it, that's the, tr that's the Isl Iceland or Islander or something that they use those for, uh, for, for dropping, um, uh, uh, reconnaissance, uh, uh, specialists into enemy territory because they're, uh, short takeoff and landing capability. It's the Icelander or the. Um, I used them in the war. I know that. All right. Okay. Okay. Hurricane. Gotta love the hurricane, man. Oh, yeah, that's the. Sure, that's a reconnaissance spit in the D-Day. They're the D-Day commemorative uh, D-Day stripes. So it's reconnaissance aircraft that was used to uh, reconnoiter the beaches, I'd imagine, during the D-Day landing. So um, B-17, Sally, the, the Memphis Bell, or is it Sally B or something like that? I think they, uh, and the DC-10, uh, DC, DC-10, Dakota, DC-3 over the background there. Look at that. The DAC. P47 Thunderbolt, not the Hellcat Bulldog, thank you. Uh, anyone got that on sim, that will sound awesome. Um, and we've got another one, which is a big radial engine that we played a little bit out in the, um, in the, in the sim files promo as well. Look at that in that display. Wow, close format. Nice flat display from the Reds. That's what we had. Nice. Yeah. Two hurries. Look at that. Nice, great pictures, great pictures Ian. Thank you for that. Give you a wow. David Raymond, a few shots of Greenland on our way to Mexico in the TUI Dreamliner. Wow, yeah, it's just a long part, that, uh, that whole section and the flight. You keep looking down and it's just ice everywhere. Uh, fantastic to look at. Um, right, okay. Um, oh, there's the aviation quiz tonight. Is that tonight's one, Jilly? Oh, okay. No. What? Oh, blimey. Okay. Okay. That's an old one then. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's just make sure. Okay, folks. So what we're going to do now, uh, Stephen Hing, A330 CEO, uh, Virgin Atlantic, Boston Logan. Wow. Look at that. Great picture, mate. Yeah, great picture. Nice. Okay, um, what we're going to do is uh, break off now. Uh, shall we just play that one more time? We'll just play that. Play it one more time, Jilly, shall we? Play it again, Sham. Um, I'm just going to play that just in case anybody missed it. This is not the sim files tonight, folks. It's just the, um, it is the, the, uh, the, um, the quiz tonight. So just let me... Quickly go into there, go into um, and uh, okay, okay. Is that is that come up on OBS, Jilly? Yeah. Yeah. Go full screen. Wait a second. Um, 
Wait a minute. Okay, monitor and output. Let's just put it on, see whether that works. Okay, okay. So here we go, folks. Here we go. This is the uh, this is the promo uh, that we finally got uh, managed to get out. I uh, finished it at eleven thirty last night. It was actually uh, Darren Golding's uh, video file that I managed to find that it was corrupting the, uh, the 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 export. So I had to take that out. It was the bit with the aircraft flying over Dubai. Uh, so I had to take that out and replace it. You'll probably notice it because we made this together yesterday. So uh, sit back, enjoy, and. Uh, um, uh, we'll see you later for the quiz at six o'clock. Six o'clock is um, is uh, is it is it six o'clock? It starts. Jenny, is it six o'clock or s it, okay? Six for six for six thirty. Six thirty for seven. Uh, six thirty for seven, folks. Yeah, it'll be live at six thirty. Quiz starts at seven. So um, we will see you uh, later on and uh, enjoy this. Um, oh, I'm, I'm out of pip anyway, aren't I, Jilly? I'm out of pip. Oh, oh no, that's fine. Okay, okay, three, two, one. See you later, folks. Um. To the